Hi guys, welcome to this review about the all-natural non-toxic insect killer spray by Killer Green. So I have noticed now that it's currently not available on Amazon. I don't know if the, this is just a temporary thing or if it's uh, for a long time not available anymore or if they are selling at a different place. I don't know. So. I had this now for about two years in my home. Uh, I bought it, but uh, yeah, two years ago and can't remember how it worked at the beginning. I think I had some kind of mixed uh, feelings about that. But uh, recently I had a situation when I thought, yeah, I need something to kill um, insects, uh, which shouldn't be um, like toxic, yeah. So that's so important if you want to use something in inside of your home or uh, the situation which I had was um, two spiders around the mailbox outside and of course I didn't want to spray a full load of the normal insecticide like uh, yeah, pesticide uh, on my mailbox because people are touching uh, touching it so i wanted to try this thing again uh here you have some pictures as you can see it says all natural insect killer non-toxic effective against flying insects and roaches spiders and more no smells or stains non-toxic all natural so usually i mean if you are not just 15 years old, you know everything which is non-toxic and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, let's say 90-95% of all the things which uh, are non-toxic, usually they simply don't work or at least they are not as effective as the toxic um, products because there's a reason why the, they are on the market if non-toxic would work there would be no reason for toxic uh, products and uh, or at least nobody would buy them so um, so here we see a three star average review um, yeah so some of the five star reviews could be bought reviews of course uh, usually they are when you have both reviews they are not four or three stars so these reviews come probably from normal users and but you see they get uh, quite some one star reviews people are saying it's simply not working there are some funny reviews um, yeah if you have some time and you want uh, to read some funny things you'd uh, you could read uh, through the reviews so like the thing here uh, doesn't work the spider got even bigger next day it served as food for them unfortunately the funny ones i couldn't uh, find anymore there's just one thing here this product didn't work at all 20 dollars uh, down the drain sprayed it on a bunch of roaches they went uh, they went on with their lives like nothing happened next day uh, also no difference yeah um, yeah so one saying uh, it killed his tomatoes uh, but didn't do something against the um, uh, mice or what yeah whatever so uh, what's my experience uh, about that of course it's not uh, perfect uh, success uh, as you can think so what I did here uh, you can see in this video I had a nasty spider as well here uh, where is it can't see it yeah here here it is okay and I sprayed a lot at this spider and yeah so I checked back the next day and uh, so yeah, when I checked next day at the spider, the spider web was still there, uh, but it was not fully intact and the spider was dead. 
yeah, it was there, the spider was still there, but it was not moving, it was totally uh, something, yeah, didn't look too good for the spider, and here uh, when I sprayed on it, it was still alive, so there was something going on in these 24 hours, not a good thing for the spider, so that was mostly positive, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm stop with stopping the thing. So uh, anyway, I had the mailbox. Maybe we'll see that over there. Uh, yeah, probably not. Anyway, uh, there's the mailbox on the side, and I sprayed a lot of the thing uh, all around the mailbox and a little bit inside. And I checked next day, and it was a small spider. It was like a reddish spider somehow not a, not a really big one and uh but i wanted to get rid of it and i checked back next day and i mean it was really soaked this mailbox was soaked the day before with the with this um insect killer and it did nothing so uh yeah actually there were two spiders and both of the spiders were still there next day and so i came back with the uh, yeah real uh, insect killer and yeah then the other day it was gone but I had another experience also with a big spider and a big spider web uh, it was a much bigger web and a much bigger spider it was right in front of our car in the bushes and I didn't like it so close to the core. I didn't want it to come inside that one day. And so we sprayed a lot of this thing onto the spider web. And we checked next day. And the spider web was completely gone. I mean, and there was nothing. There was not a storm, hell storm or something like that in the night. It was totally quite dry. And in the next day... The spider web was 100% gone. It was totally invisible. There was was nothing there anymore. It was like, like it d dissolved the spider web. That's really crazy. I mean, in here in this case, just the spider was that spider web was still here. And the other kind case with this, with the big spider, the spider web was gone. It was literally gone. There was absolutely nothing left. So that was amazing. And, but uh, of course, because it was in, in the bushes, I didn't see what happened with the spider. But the surprising thing was that the spider didn't come back. I mean, usually when you ruin them a uh, spider web, they are usually coming back uh, and they build then their web again. Didn't happen there. Uh, not in a day, not after a week, not after months. It didn't come back, and I've never seen the spider again. So, I guess it killed the spider web and the spider. So, for me, it looks like it's working on some insects, and on other insects, it doesn't work. So, yeah, it's uh, I mean, Amazon has a three, three star review. Uh, for me, yeah, I would definitely give a three-star review if you need something urgent. I mean, something that really works. Something has to work. I mean, if you have like a really, um, yeah, emergency situation in your home, really a lot of insects at some place or something like that, you then you probably you yeah you need something else. Uh, especially outside, there's no problem with the um, uh, in insect killer, toxic insect killer. You have to protect yourself, of course. Uh, you have to make sure that you are in the direction where the wind coming from, and not never spray into the uh, like the into the wind, um, something like that. But uh, of course, it's um, yeah. So, but it uh, yeah. The thing is really for me. If you have like a non-emergent situation, just a few bucks here and there, maybe in your home, I would definitely give it a try. Yeah, I, I, I mean, 
this is just my honest opinion and I'm, I'm I'm not selling this product I'm not affiliated with with this product and this is just my my honest opinion about that and I can, I can really tell you sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so yeah if you have non non uh, urgent situation maybe you should try if you if you want to uh, have a safe environment and uh, maybe children animals and so on yeah why not so anyway i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or want to let me know about your own experience about that would be really interesting to uh, if you could uh, leave a feedback in the feedback area down there and yeah, if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time